Hey you guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I know it's been a long time. It's been about around almost five months at this point. Uh, and I apologize for being gone so long. I had a couple things happen. I'm not gonna dwell on it. Um, I know a lot of you know already what happened, but um, I'm fine now, I'm back. I'm finally getting to feeling back to myself. So I think I'm ready to get back started making YouTube videos. So um, I'm just gonna dip my toe in with something that I'm used to doing, which is sewing. And y'all, you know you have to excuse me, it's been a while, I have not filmed in so long. I feel like I'm starting all over again. Um, so if you see me looking here or there, or I need to get back used to uh, filming on my phone, but yeah. Um, today's video is going to be just something simple. I'm going to make a Halloween sublimation t-shirt for my daughter. She wants to wear a Halloween shirt on Halloween at school while she gives out her treat bag. So um, I'm going to use... I'll show you what I'm going to use. Um, I'll, I'll do a products used uh, part on the video as well so you can see. But yeah, you guys, it feels good to be back. Uh, it's been such a long time. I don't even remember the last video I put up. I think it was like sewing a dress or something, a mommy and me dress. But um, yeah, I'm ready. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on this th um, video. I'll go ahead and turn the camera around and I'll let you know what pattern I'm using for the shirt itself and I'll also let you know I'll show you the shirt and how I'm recycling it um, I'm using the old sh it's not an old shirt it's a new shirt but it came with some defects on it so I'm just gonna show you how I'm gonna use that fabric to make her new shirt and I'm gonna put together this fun shirt you probably see in the thumbnail I'm not sure what I'm doing with the thumbnail yet but you'll probably see it in the thumbnail so uh, yeah, let's get on with this video and thank you guys for watching and thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, staying on me to get back. My friends, you know who I'm talking about. Um, yeah, I just appreciate all the support and let's get on with this video. I don't want to talk too long. Okay guys, let's jump right into the video. So I just want to show you some of the things that I'm using for this shirt. Um, this fabric here is a double brush poly. Um, I actually got this from Amazon I think about two years ago. Uh, but it's like a really pretty neon pink with black and this color in between is like a mix of a tan and a white. I'm not sure. It's coming off pretty true to color on the camera. So yeah, I'm gonna use this for the sleeves and possibly the neckband, most likely the neckband. Um, now, I said that I was gonna recycle a shirt for the body of the shirt because I plan on sublimating a um, image on there that I created in Canva, which I'll show you the image in just a moment. Um, but this is the shirt, this is one of the shirts that I'll be, um, recycling and it is a jerseys um, dry power I believe it's the 21 M that's the the number of it but yeah I'll be using one of these um, and all I did is I just cut the sleeves off cut down both sides and cut the collar and the shoulder part apart to make me two separate panels of fabric and I'm just gonna cut the fronts and the backs of the shirt out of this um, shirt and the problem with this shirt when they sent it to me was that it had um, black spots on it uh, from them manufacturing it I guess I tried to find the one with the least amount of spots to use but yeah that's what I'm gonna use for her t-shirt fabric and the body of the shirt and let me show you the graphic that I created on Canva now I had some uh, fun with this one she wanted to be a part of the Sanderson sisters we recently watched Hocus Pocus 2 and she absolutely loved it she thinks Winnie is just everything <laughs> and so she wanted to be a part of the Sanderson sisters so here we go and of course it is mirrored because it's going to be sublimated on but I'm not sure which one I'm going to do this one which can be bigger and it has no brooms for this one here 
with the brooms. And I think the graphic turned out really, really good. I added all the texture in the background to make it look like sort of an old photo. And I did black and white just because I think it's just really cute. And I added her in and that's the graphic we're gonna use. And if you guys like to see, I don't know, how, did, how I created this simple design in Canva, just let me know and I'll do like a short video just showing you how I made this image and how you can make any other image pretty much the same way. So that is the graphic, but this part will come later. I first have to cut out the front and the back and get the shirt, shirt sewn. I'm not gonna show the whole sewing process of the shirt. Um, I don't want this to be a super long video, even though this won't take very long. But I'm gonna go ahead and just get my pattern pieces cut out, and then we'll move on over to the serger. Okay guys, so here we are at the serger. I just went ahead and um, put my sleeves on the shirt because that's the trickiest part for me when I'm doing raglans, um, is matching up the front and the back and the sleeves. So I just went ahead and uh, clipped those on to the front and the back of the shirt to make sure you um, know which is the front and which is the back of your shirt. I always put a clip hanging on the bottom of the front of my shirt so that I can know what is the front. And I'm just gonna go ahead and serge these together and then I'm gonna go ahead and serge the sleeves all and serge the sleeves together as well and go all the way down the sides to put the shirt together. And then the only thing that would be left is to put the neckband in. And honestly, this is like a less than a 30 minute project. It just depends on how long it takes you to um, cut your fabric and how long it takes you to you know, get your pattern done, and then how long it takes you to pin everything together. Um, but yeah, this can be less than a 30 minute project. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this sewn together and I'll throw some music on and some sewing montages. And then I'll be back once the shirt is done. Okay, just popping back in to show I got the neckband pinned well clipped on so I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to um, put it on with no incidents and then I'll be back with the finished product of the shirt I'm not gonna hem it or anything right now I'll probably do that later but I'm gonna go ahead and at least get this part done so we can move on to the sublimation Okay, you guys, so here is the finished shirt. Uh, that neckline, <laughs> that neckband, I may take this one out and redo it. There was a hole here, and when I fixed it, it grabbed a little bit more of the neckband that I, than I wanted. But honestly, 
it's a Halloween shirt she's gonna wear one day <laughs> I might try to release it right there and see can I fix that part but honestly I really don't care too much about it I don't think she'll notice it as you know a lot when she's she has it on but it is kind of bothering me so I might take it take it out and redo the neckband but yeah here's the finished shirt I love the way it looks it's such a cute color combination so now let's get to the sublimation part now I didn't know which one of these um, which one of these that I was gonna do because I didn't know how I want how big I, I would need the design or how big I wanted the design so I'm just gonna I know I have to rip but I'm gonna still cut around it just a little bit just to see what part fits on my shirt the best so I have this one and the difference between the two like I said before the difference is this one has the little broomsticks coming out of the side and then it has the silhouette of the ladies and the picture and this one has is a little bit bigger and it has no broomsticks I always feel like the bigger the better with the design so I'm leaning towards just doing this one um, but I'm just gonna lay it here and see how it feels up the shirt and I think that's a pretty good size um, and then this one is smaller so I do think I'm gonna use the bigger one without the broomsticks just for size purposes now this was a 13 by 19 sheet of paper I think it actually yeah this was a 13 by 19 sheet of paper that I just put two designs two uh, images on and cut so I'll um, I'm just gonna use this one here I do need to go cut on my heat press and once I do that I'll be back and I'll meet you uh, well we'll we'll stay here and prep our shirt first and then we'll go to the heat press and press the shirt we are almost done okay you guys I got my heat press heating up and you guys know the drill you know the routine when it comes to sublimation and if you don't you want to make sure you put butcher paper in between your shirt and I'm especially going to do it because this is that jersey shirt and it's pretty thin uh, and I don't want anything to bleed to the back so I'm going to go ahead and put a piece of paper in between my shirt as well as I'm going to put a piece on my heat press and on top of the shirt um, when I go over to press the shirt. Let's see, did I get a big enough piece? And I just like to bring it up to the shoulders and then grab it so I can still lay it out like a normal shirt. Like so. And I'm not gonna pre-press this shirt or anything. Honestly, I never notice the difference if I do or don't. So, I'm not going to do that today. Now, I have not done any crafts in the last four months since I've been away. I haven't really felt like doing much of anything, honestly. So, I haven't sublimated anything. So, I'm trying to make sure I'm doing everything right and remember everything. But I think for the most part, I have it um, memorized, kind of like muscle memory. Now, the next thing you want to do is, of course, you want to rip around your design. I don't want any harsh lines on my shirt so I'm just going to carefully rip around the silhouettes of the ladies I did kind of put them at the top of the paper and I didn't really think about that but it should be fine I'm just going to rip without ripping my design okay like so and before you place your design, you do want to lint roll. Lint roll. I need a new lint roller so bad. But just like I need new, I need a new roll of butcher paper. This is all I have left. I haven't bought any supplies either in this last four months. So I need to like re up on all my stuff. But you just want to make sure you are lint rolling because any 
as we know any little pieces of lint or anything will leave blue little squiggly lines on our shirt and I don't want to have to bake this shirt over again so yeah we're just gonna lint roll and I'm gonna pull the sheet off and lint roll one more time I don't know why this shirt is so linty like I can still see it maybe because it was just in my bin sitting okay that looks to be good my heat press is at just at 182 so it'll probably take a couple more minutes to come up to temperature And it's like I see something right here, but I'm thinking that's just one of those black spots that I told you these shirts came with. They came with some defects. Um, and that's why I didn't use them for any customer orders. But yeah, I'm trying to see how high I wanna do the design. I'm thinking maybe about right here. And honestly, I'm lining up the square on my um, design with the armpits. And the top of the design is here. So I think that looks good there. That looks to be centered. And I'm gonna take my heat tape and I'm just gonna tape it down. Yeah, me and my daughter watched Hocus Pocus 2 the night it came out, or maybe the night after it came out, and she just got a kick out of it. I feel like this one was a little more, uh, I don't want to say family friendly because I feel like the, the movie is family friendly, friendly anyway. I know there are a lot of people that say, you know, oh, witchcraft, you know, shouldn't watch it, all this different stuff. But I just think it was a fun movie. And um, I think the same thing about this one, except this one was just, I feel like even more um, like kid friendly. It was more of a Disney movie, if that makes sense. But yeah, we really enjoyed it. And she loves Winnie. She absolutely loves Winnie. Okay guys, so my heat press is finally almost a temp. It's at around 390. So as you can see, I have my shirt on the press. I just, I laid butcher paper underneath. I don't necessarily think you have to do that, but it's a force of habit and you know, it hasn't steered me wrong yet. So I do always put a piece of um, butcher paper on the bottom, as well as you saw me put the butcher paper inside my shirt and I'm just making sure that the butcher paper that's inside my shirt is directly under my um, design which it is so I'm gonna go ahead and cover it and I'm covering it carefully because my tape is trying to lift a little bit so I'm gonna cover it, it's at 398. We can go ahead and start pressing now. So I'm gonna press this for 60 seconds. And once that's done, I'll be back and I'll show you the finished product. Okay, it's coming up on the last few seconds here. I'm gonna give it like three extra seconds and then And it looks like my um, design transferred pretty well. As you can see, it's very important to put paper because you see the design on my butcher paper, don't you? So that's very, very important to put paper on top so that that ink won't get on your heat press. So I'm gonna pull this off and meet you over at the table and then I'll show you the finished product. Okay, here's the shirt, fresh, fresh off the press. I'm gonna go ahead and take the paper out from inside and we'll see if any of the ink transferred. Um, 
yes it actually did so it's a good thing that I put this in between and I didn't forget only like a minimal amount went through but still if I didn't put this between then that would show through to the other side of my shirt so now the moment of truth <sighs> I hope it did correctly I don't want to have to remake this shirt it did and the pink is perfect I don't know if you were able to see on the design you weren't really able to see once I printed it but I made the frame part this this part around here I made it the tan color to match with the tan in the sleeves and then I tried to color match the pink um, to the sleeves as well with my um, color charts that I have printed and it looks so good it's so clear. Let me give you a close up. The pinks match pretty well. It's it's really hard to get a neon pink um, with sublimation unless I believe you have like a separate printer that just prints neon or something like that. I think I heard um, my friend Liz over at Coffee Power at Home. I think I heard her say that. But I got pretty good. It's not showing as well on camera, but it matches pretty well. And the tan looks very nice. Y'all, I'm so excited about this shirt. It's so cute. I I think I'm gonna end up fixing the neckline, um, the neckband. I'll do that off camera, honestly. Either that or I'll try to release it and see what I can do to that part right there on the sewing machine. But yeah, so I could definitely have moved the design over a tad bit this way um, but for the most part I love it I like it a lot so again here is my daughter's Halloween shirt she's gonna wear to school and she's gonna give out treat bags I may do a Halloween um, goodie bag video where I'm making things and putting things in a, in a treat bag video um as well so look out for that in the next maybe week or so i'm trying to get back on my consistency my consistency game so i'm going to try to at least get out one video a week i also do have my first collaboration with a company um i don't want to say they're sponsoring the video <laughs> but i mean they sent me they sent me some products to try out um so I'm excited to try those out. It'll be two separate videos because I have two separate products. So one of them will be a t-shirt video and one of them will be a party favor video. I'm not sure which party favor I'm going to do yet, but that'll be coming up soon. So yeah, if you guys like what you see, um, just please excuse the filming. I'm just trying to get back used to it. But if you like what you see and you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. You guys. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I have so many fun things planned for the rest of this year Christmas is coming up I have some mugs and socks gifts that I'm gonna make I know everybody seems to love my sublimation sock videos so that is gonna be coming up um, in November so yeah you guys I really enjoyed filming this video I enjoyed making this shirt it feels good to be back. It feels weird to be back, but I'm glad to be here and I'm glad you joined me for this video. And yeah, you guys, I love you all. Thank you for the support and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.